Our expedition to Chile and Bolivia in search of the cleanest night skies on the planet could not have started in a more unusual way. Storms, rain and snow in the Atacama Desert, the driest place on earth. This unusual situation gave us unique images. A privilege for the eyes and for our photographic sensors, according to the Atacameños themselves. There was also a sense of uncertainty in the air. The land borders between Chile and Bolivia were closed due to the snow. But this is something we will talk about later. The time was approaching for us to set off on the next stage of this adventure, the crossing between Chile and Bolivia, heading to the city of Uyuni, in search of one of the most extraordinary landscapes I have ever witnessed. The Salar de Uyuni, the largest mirror in the world. But we still had one goal to accomplish in Atacama, to observe and photograph its night sky the cleanest and darkest in the world. Just a few hours before leaving for Bolivia, the desert granted us our wish. And finally, our last night in San Pedro de Atacama. The sky has cleared up, and we're going to enjoy the skies of the Atacama Desert. We're already loading the equipment into the car, and we're going to practice astrophotography under the best night sky in the world. The very last day in Atacama, we had storms, rain, and snow. Nothing seemed to indicate that the situation would improve, but the weather forecasts said otherwise. All of them predicted a completely clear night, and they weren't wrong. The next morning, we had to get up very early to leave for Bolivia. We already knew that some of us wouldn't sleep that night, so we decided to take the group to a nearby spot. And completely spontaneously, we came across this. That's how Atacama is. Spectacular photogenic formations everywhere you look. Well, it's spectacular. We've struggled a little because when we arrived, there were some clouds, but now we have clear skies. Behind us, there's a landmark with a series of rocks like fingers pointing toward the sky. And we have an incredible arc of the Milky Way in the sky. It's incredible. It's just incredible. You can clearly see the structure of the Milky Way with the naked eye. Spectacular. The photos on the camera come out fully revealed. At last, we've been able to enjoy the Atacama sky, the best night sky in the world. Previous days, we had been joking around. We said that the rain was cleaning the atmosphere. We didn't know to what extent. The session was marked by a powerful air glow, a natural luminescence of the Earth's atmosphere that can only be seen under truly dark skies, and a little cloud visible to the naked eye above the horizon. It was the first time I saw the large Magellanic cloud with my own eyes. But above all, what stands out for me from this session is the arc of the Milky Way that I ended up capturing at this spot. A photograph that feels glorious after the harsh weather we endured in the previous days. A photograph I didn't expect to be able to take, and which has already become one of the best shots of this trip. Well, we've already photographed the arc of the Milky Way. We photographed the Magellanic clouds above the horizon. In fact, we've even seen them with the naked eye. At the very least, the large Magellanic cloud was clearly visible to the naked eye. We have an impressive green air glow all along the horizon. And now what I'm going to do is set up the telescope and start taking pictures under this incredible night sky.
Yes, with me, I took a complete telescope, battery included, to the other side of the world with a clear objective, to point it at the wonders of the southern sky under the best night sky there is. All this was just a warm-up. The main course of the night was coming. Looks like only the astrophotographers are left here. It's currently 3.20 in the morning. I think we're going to spend the whole night here. Even though tomorrow we're heading to Bolivia. Tomorrow we cross the border between Chile and Bolivia and begin our journey to Uyuni for the next leg of this trip, which is the Uyuni Salt Flats. Another stunning spot for night photography, for landscape photography as well, and for astrophotography. But honestly, I'm super happy because at least I'm taking with me the memory of this astrophotography session here under the Atacama sky. And in this case, photographing the Blue Horsehead Nebula. It's a nebula that, although it can also be seen from the northern hemisphere, stays very low on the horizon there and here. We have it right up above. We have it right at the zenith. Honestly, it's absolutely stunning to see how the Milky Way looks from this sky. As expected, we ended up spending the entire night on this astrophotography session under the Atacama skies and we got back just in time to close our suitcases and board the transport that would take us to the border with Bolivia. Miguel, we're heading to Bolivia. Hello. Here we go. Here we go to Bolivia. Do you remember that the borders had been closed 24 hours earlier because of the snow? That's how the Atacama desert is and that's how these trips are. Pure adventure. During the course of that day, one of the border crossings had opened and we were ready to cross through it. That day we were going to get little rest and even less sleep, still. But as they say in Spain, let them take away what we've already danced. We were reaching the final stage of this adventure. Cross the Bolivian high plateau to the city of Uyuni to explore, both by day and by night, the largest salt flat in the world. A salt desert of more than 10,500 square kilometers that looks like it's from another planet. <laughs> 